my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know what's happening here. I must have scratched myself in the middle of the night. Interesting. So I wanted to come on and do a reading. Someone asked if I could do a reading about if you blocked someone, how that person is feeling. And as I was sitting down to get the cards, I took these two decks and I put them in front of me and this one fell over and two cards flipped up and we have releasing and confusion. So what I'm seeing is that you have released someone, blocked them energetically. It doesn't have to be blocking on social media. It can just be, you know, kind of removing their energy from your life or putting up that boundary. And we see confusion here. So I'm not sure if perhaps you're feeling confused. Did you do the right thing by releasing this person? We do see confusion in their energy, though, is what I'm picking up on. So I just wanted to mention that. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, you guys see stuff like that happen on camera all the time. So I know you know. Anyway, 111 on the timer as I was saying that. <laughs> I have no idea what these are from. And right before I started, I like cut myself somehow. Anyway, very interesting. Wounded. Wounded? All right, so... <clears throat> I actually think I want to get tarot today. Oh my goodness. So I took um, this deck, which is the black tarot, I think. And we have the Empress. Oh my gosh. The Empress was flipped over. No other cards. What's happening here? The deck is all messed up. Like you guys aren't seeing eye to eye right now. Look at this deck. Where are the cards? Oh, they're there. The Emperor, what is happening? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? We have the Emperor of the World and the Empress and the Nine of Swords. Two, two, two on the timer. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to shuffle anyway, but... It's first thing in the morning. I'm very tired. <laughs> um, here we have the Empress. So you standing in your power, you no longer chasing. And we have this, you know, you ending a cycle, the world. You walking away, you stopping that cycle. And putting a distance between you and this person, the world. A distance, whether it's emotional, physical, and here we have the, this is so telling, you guys, this is so telling. Because this card came out releasing, which is very much Empress energy, and confusion, which is this Nine of Swords energy. Look at them. That's the Emperor and anxiety. The Emperor is like, what is happening here? In their head, look at that. That's crazy. Okay, let's get into it. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> like I said, I don't usually do readings this early in the morning, so I'm a little tired. <laughs> we have the Seven of Spheres, Seven of Pentacles. So perhaps this person wasn't giving you the results you wanted in this connection. Um, perhaps you felt like you were putting in all the work and you weren't being rewarded for that work. Oh my god, what card just flew off the top? The Empress again! Oh my gosh, what is happening? This is very um, strong here. Interesting. The Knight of Swords. You're not chasing anymore, Knight of Swords. You're done chasing. Now, Knight of Swords, you could have impulsively blocked them. So sometimes when we're triggered, we hit that block button, you know? Um... But Knight of Swords does show, you know, you not chasing anymore. <clears throat> the Fool. The Fool. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Taking a leap in a different direction. Interesting. Perhaps you felt like... I just heard perhaps you felt like your person made a fool out of you. I can't get over the scratches on me. Like, I didn't even sleep with Wally last night, the cat. Someone thought I was talking about a child. <laughs> Wally's my cat. <laughs> anyway, I didn't even sleep with my cat last night, so that's weird. Wounded. 
I'm seeing three of swords. Anyway, one more shuffle. We have the nine of pentacles. You in a very independent energy releasing this. Cards keep flipping off the top. It is so weird. The king of wands. It was actually in reverse. So I'm see seeing that you could have been dealing with, um, well, a fire sign doesn't have to be. But this could be someone in reverse that was very self-centered or had a large ego who was more interested on what they wanted to be doing than this connection. Um, this could have been someone who, you know, tried to control things here. It really is like, I'm focused on my own stuff. I don't have time for this. <laughs> that kind of energy. Came off the top. All right, let's cut it once and then we'll continue on. The Wheel of Fortune. You taking your destiny into your own hands. This is a turning point in this connection. Seven of Wands blocking. Yes! <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. You protecting yourself. Seven of Wands. That's the blocking card. Oh no, look at me. I'm starting to have a reaction. That's from the energy, by the way. That. Uh, I could be picking up on your person's energy. Perhaps you're nervous. Look at it. Um, perhaps you're nervous that, you know, you've made a mistake. And I just want to say that no matter what choice you make, you're going to end up where you're meant to be. It just, there might be a detour. And I think you're doing the right thing here. Um, Wally says, yes, you are. <laughs> um, the seven of wands shows you putting up boundaries and making adjustments, perhaps because of patterns, wheel of fortune. And perhaps, you know, maybe this person had to learn a karmic lesson. Um, perhaps you are releasing karma with the Wheel of Fortune. Wally says, yeah! <laughs> Confirmation. Queen of Swords, putting up your boundary. Yes, this is your reading. It's right here. Queen of Swords. You putting up your boundary, saying, this is what I think I deserve. And if you can't give it to me, then I'm going to focus on myself. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. You could have been dealing with a situation ship, I'm hearing. But anyway, confirmation that this is your reading. Um, so let's go. Let's go. Um, I want to see how this person is feeling since you blocked them. How is this person feeling since you blocked them? The moon in reverse. That's so interesting. That rash, it's going away. Um, the moon shows fear. The moon shows uncertainty. And what I'm hearing with the moon in reverse, I actually, you know what? I want to look at that. Fear and paranoia regarding love or exposing of the truth. Fear and paranoia. I was also feeling like maybe they can't feel your energy anymore. If this is a spiritual connection and you have an intuitive connection, I feel like they can't feel your energy anymore. Fear and illusion about exposing the truth. Maybe you found something out. Maybe this person, you know... There's a reason why you block them. So whatever that reason is, I feel like they're afraid to look at that. They're afraid to look at their own shadows with the moon in reverse. I'm feeling disconnected from a divine feminine energy with this. Interesting. For some of you, they feel deceived. And I know you're like, what? They're the ones that deceived me. That could be the case. I could be picking up on your energy here. But we'll look at it. Nine of Wands. So this person is feeling overwhelmed and wounded. Um, they could be in victim mentality right now. They could be very um, feeling bad for themselves. You know, victim mentality, wounded warrior, I'm hearing. Nine of Wands. Um, refusing. Not refusing, but having a really hard time having fear about looking at their shadows and about the ways they need to self-improve. Continuing on. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> it's 
So we have the Nine of Wands and the Moon in reverse. Okay. So I want to see how they feel. I want to see why they think you blocked them. Like how they perceive that. And like I said, it doesn't have to actually mean blocking them, just pulling your energy back, blocking your energy. What was I asking? Why do they think you blocked them? Why do they think you blocked them? Ten of Cups, because you weren't happy? Because they weren't fulfilling you. There is this um, Ten of Swords, interesting. So they think that you block them or they feel like you block them out because they weren't giving you enough. Um, they weren't being open enough with you. They're perceiving it as they weren't bringing you emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups. So they feel you block them because... Actually, I'm hearing something else now. Um... <clears throat> They feel like you block them because as a blockage in reverse, the Ten of Cups talks about more healing is required. So they feel like you've, you know, blocked them or pulled your energy back because they're not ready. Um, there still needs to be healing here. Maybe they think you're the one that needs to heal. I mean, we all need to heal, so it's not, it doesn't matter. Um, but there is this energy of them feeling like they weren't, they think you blocked them because they weren't looking at those shadows. There still needed to be healing here. So there must have been a way they were still repeating a pattern with you with the world and the Wheel of Fortune. A lesson not being learned. We do have Ten of Swords here. So they feel like they you blocked them because they stabbed you in the back, perhaps. <clears throat> Let's see how they think you're feeling about them. How do they think you're feeling about them? <laughs> Queen of Spheres in reverse. So interesting. You're done with them. They feel like you've lost patience for them, that you're done with them. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Like you feel like they can't provide for you. That's how they're perceiving it. They think you feel that way. That they, you know, aren't nurturing this connection enough. That they're not marriage material. That they're not, they can't live up to you or whatever they're thinking. Um, we also have Ace of Cups. I do see... There is this energy that you couldn't, that they couldn't fill you up, that they couldn't be vulnerable enough. Um, so interesting here. They could feel like you don't have feelings for them anymore. It's a very interesting energy here. Um, where's my book? Where's my book? Oh, there it is. <laughs> My first instinct when I can't find something is to panic. I'm like, ah! <laughs> I just need to breathe. <laughs> oh, maybe their first instinct was to panic. Sadness, separation. Interesting. So they think you are... Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I wasn't even I wasn't even looking up the Ace of Cups. What was I doing? Um, I just looked up the Ace of Cups like without even thinking about it. And they think that you're they're you're moving on. That's what they think. They think that I just heard they're done with you or they're done with me. <laughs> I was trying to look up Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. They think you think that they're <laughs> this is really interesting for how they think you're feeling about them. You think that they're shallow and selfish and in a relationship for the wrong reasons. Bad partner, unreliable, jealous. That's how they think you feel about them. Bad partner. Unstable partner. Unable to nurture this, especially with that Ace of Cups. So that's interesting. What are they reflecting on? Let's see what they're reflecting on right now. 
Knight of Wands. Three of Swords. Oh my gosh. Queen of Wands. Okay, for, so for some of you, there could have been a third party situation. And I don't mean just a person. For some of you, it's going to be a person. We've got the Three of Swords and we've got the Queen of Wands here. And that screams third party karmic. It screams it. Um, but remember, for some of you, third party can be other circumstances, other distractions. So work, friends, partying, being a knight of wands, being a player energy, inconsistent, hot and cold. They're reflecting on their inconsistency. They're reflecting on how their actions as the knight of wands, player energy, hot and cold, inconsistent, in and out, on the run, runner energy. They're reflecting on that right now. Three of swords. And what it was that ripped the two of you apart. Look at that. Like, you know, one person ripped in half. Um, they're reflecting on how they hurt you with this Knight of Wands energy. And like I said, we do have the Queen of Wands there on the bottom. So for some of you, this person is reflecting on how they hurt you with a karmic or a third party situation. What is their intuition telling them about you? What is their intuition telling them about you? I've really enjoyed getting questions like this. Page of Wands, Queen of Swords. Their, their intuition is telling them that they need to do something, that they need to take action, Page of Wands, but that, you know, they've done something here. There was a reason for your truth. And their intuition is trying to wake them up with that page of wands. That's like your spirit guides or your intuition throwing a log on the fire trying to get your attention. It can resemble, you know, like a little spiritual awakening. Um, their intuition is telling them to come towards you. But I see that they feel like you'll be cold with them, queen of swords. Their intuition is also telling them you put up boundaries for a reason. They were, it was deserved. Um, you were in the right is what I'm hearing. Because the Queen of Swords, she acts in her authentic truth. They act in their authentic truth. So whatever you did, you did it for the right reasons because it was coming from your authentic, you know. Unless you were being like reversal, like cold and mean, which I don't think you were. King of Spheres, that they need to level up in order to meet you. That they need to stabilize themselves. Their intuition is telling you that there's long-term potential here. Their intuition is telling them it's time to stabilize yourself and ground yourself and get your crap together. <laughs> <clears throat> Seven of Cups. Stop messing around. And I mean that by this is someone... This is someone who I think had a lot of options or other things happening here. Anyway, let's see what their ego is telling them. Oh my gosh, their ego, their ego, their ego. Six of Wands energy. It's really interesting. I'm hearing that their ego is telling them that they're not good enough. Emperor Energy Six of Wands, that they're not good enough to support this. They're not good enough to be your partner. So their intuition is like, you need to be the King of Pentacles. You need to level up. You need to become more stable and loyal. And their intu their ego is telling them you're not enough. You'll never, you'll never measure up to that. You'll never be able to love that person the way they deserve to be loved. Um, very interesting. I want to see their current thoughts about you right now. Their ego is also telling them to just let go. What did I just say? How are they feeling about you right now? Four of Pentacles. So they feel this is, this is exactly what I just said with the emperor and their ego. This is exactly what I was just saying about the emperor and their ego. This is like the mini emperor. And right now they're feeling like they're not enough. They feel like 
there's fear of being alone here. Four of Pentacles, fear of, you know, losing you, um, fear of being alone. There is a codependent energy here, so I'm not sure if, like, this feels like someone trapped in a codependent energy, if I'm being honest, whether that's school, work, friends, karmic, marriage, I don't know. Um, but Four of Pentacles shows they don't feel like they're enough for you. That's like the mini emperor. Um, they don't feel like they're enough for you. Look at them. Their ego tells them they need to be this in order to be enough for you. And this is how they feel right now, which is why people don't reach out and things like that. Page of Swords. This person right now watching you, trying to figure out a way to watch you if you have them blocked. You could just have blocked them, you know, by saying, I'm no longer talking to you. But this is someone who's watching you. Reflecting. Oh my gosh, four of swords. There's a lot of fours. Four, four, four could be symbolic. One, two, three on the timer for confirmation. Um, this is someone who's spending a lot of time thinking about this, reflecting. Hmm. Let's see what their intentions are towards you. It's so funny how those two cards popped out at the beginning. Releasing and confusion. What did I say? What's their intentions? <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. So, their intentions are to look at these swords. Seven of Swords. This is, you know... This is that, how they were feeling, that fear of love, like feeling paranoid, um, fear of you finding out the truth. I don't know if you found out the truth about something. They're intending to look at this Wheel of Fortune. They're intending to make adjustments when it comes to the Seven of Swords and Four of Cups energy. So what I'm seeing is someone working on the way that they... First of all, with Four of Cups, this is someone who's afraid you're going to reject their cup. This is someone who feels like if they come in, you'll reject them. I also see that this person is working on thinking about reflecting that they didn't appreciate when they had the chance. Seven of Swords for Intentions shows them wanting to give you truth and clarity here. Wheel of Fortune, Turning Point, Making Adjustments. Um, and, you know, until they do, this Wheel of Fortune is stuck. You know, it's not moving until they give you this clarity and that Ace of Swords, the truth. So let's see their world and world for intentions, wanting to have closure here, wanting to reconnect, wanting to perhaps stop a pattern, but we'll, we'll check. We're going to go actions now. Actions, what action will they take? Three, three, three on the timer. We have the Magician. Oh my gosh. We have the Eight of Wands, the Magician, and the Queen of Cups. And the Lovers. Holy. Oh my goodness. So their actions, and this will depend on you because if you have them blocked or energetically blocked, um, it really does depend on you. I will say, if you've just blocked them, you want them to change and heal first. You know, you don't want them rushing back in. But we do see for actions, for some of you, this person is making a choice and leaving someone for you. For actions, this is an offer of love and reconnection. And you look at the Empress and the Emperor on that, you can't see where one begins and one ends. Um, this is someone who wants to embrace you, I'm hearing. This is making an offer of love towards you. Eight of Wands is not just about communication. It's about change and growth. So I feel like 444 four, four on the timer. I feel like this person is someone who is looking at how they can change and grow and then come towards you. You know, this is someone who's looking at their Knight of Wands way. That's what they're reflecting on. Um, I really enjoyed this reading. So for their next actions, we do see them coming towards you with an offer of love, lovers, eight of wands, communication. 
we have the magician and the queen of cups so this is someone who wants to fill up your cup this is someone who wants to make you a generous love offer um one where they're not expecting anything in return magician energy wanting to make things work communicating um you know working on themselves what advice do you need about this person for some of you they are going to I'm going to take the lovers back because that was bottom of the deck energy. For some of you, there is this energy of them leaving someone for this connection. Um, advice for you about this person? The world. You had to do this to break the cycle. The hanged man. It had to happen. You're doing the right thing. So if you're feeling stressed, I've got all red. If you're feeling worried that you did the wrong thing, you did the right thing. I will say if you have them blocked... You can unblock them, you don't have to talk to them, but you can unblock them in case you ever do want that reconnection. But you did the right thing here with the hanged man and the world. This had to happen to break. This had to happen, oh my goodness, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So it's saying this cycle had to end, this break, this blockage, whatever it is that you've, you know, it's almost like you stuck a wheel in the Wheel of Fortune and said, this isn't going anywhere. Let's stop this. Um, what you did will cause the end of this pattern. The Ten of Pentacles shows that what's happening right now is happening for the long term. It's happening for long term stability. So perhaps this is the time where they reflect and start to grow. Beautiful. You know, don't overthink it. The world. Focus on what fulfills you and makes you feel complete um again this had to happen to break a cycle with the world card that hanged man energy had to happen to break a cycle all right let's see potential outcome in this connection we have the hermit self-reflection and the hierophant and justice oh my gosh that's amazing, you guys. That's amazing. King of Cups. Now we have the Queen and King of Cups. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I got to tell you, I don't know how long this is going to take. This may take months. I don't want to scare you. But the potential here, if you trust in this hanged man energy and you trust in the fact that the universe, the universe wants you to work on yourself right now, hermit energy, that you both will come out of this hierophant energy and end up in commitment, hierophant, spiritual evolution, spiritual lessons learned, and justice on the bottom. Karmic justice will be served. That shows compromise. That shows someone taking accountability. That shows balance. That's amazing. I mean, that's just kick you in your pants, whatever, amazing, I don't know. <laughs> There's a movie where somebody says, isn't that just, is it? I'm seeing the woman from Misery, but she doesn't say it in Misery. Is that right? Isn't that just something slap you in the face fantastic or whatever she says? I don't know. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> get some other cards for you my friends you're doing a good job you are doing a good job i am proud of you so i'm gonna go with this hidden hidden secrets deck and see how they're feeling about your blocking them my right ear is ringing hopeless how are they feeling about you blocking them hopeless sinking despair falling apart karmic lessons they need this you need this to grow and evolve and glow up and find your power again and they need it for a wake-up call i'm just being honest <laughs> nine of wands overwhelmed hopeless beginnings try again try again don't give up Making Christmas, making a new beginning is so fine. <laughs> anyway, new direction. Try again. Start over. 
there's growth here. There's growth to be had. Boundaries. So they feel like, you know, you put up your boundaries for a reason. They feel those boundaries. And we have an apology. So they're, it's confirming what the tarot was saying. My nose is running. <laughs> Maybe they're crying. Let's see what else comes out. That one's face down. So we'll discover it together. <laughs> Cloudy judgment. Seven of cups. What did I say? <laughs> Illusions unbalanced, distorted. So you probably got to a point where you had no idea what was going on and you had no choice but to protect yourself or pull your energy back. And that's normal. I mean, that's healthy. So many people like myself <laughs> stay there in the storm and like, I can make it be sunshine. I don't know. <laughs> Withdrawn, <laughs> lonely, solitary, hermit energy. You see, I've never even seen this card in this deck. I've never even seen this card in this deck. This is magic. Bitterness. One, four, three on the timer. They love you. It's face down again, so we'll discover it together again. <laughs> I did um I did a reading yesterday for people reconnecting and somebody was like I didn't watch it cuz I'm not reconnected with my person and then this morning I woke up to messages from my person. <laughs> so now I'm watching it. Third party. There were outside influences here. They're friends. You know, sometimes people in relationships, especially when they have they don't have the proper I have blood on my hand. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Someone tell me what it means to have red or red blood. <laughs> Blood on your left hand. I feel like that's spiritually symbolic of something. It must be. I had, that's so funny. Right before I started recording, I noticed that I had like blood under my nose. I guess... I don't know. Anyway, that's weird. That's weird. Bleeding heart? I don't know. That's weird. Longing. Craving. Aching. I don't even remember what I was saying before I noticed the blood. <laughs> beauty. Empress energy. You're their beauty. I just felt all sad for a minute when I looked at that beauty card. Like they're missing you. Oh no, they're in their negative mindset. If you are spiritual, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at this. <laughs> I really shouldn't laugh at this. If you are spiritual, this person may think that you have put a curse on them. I know that sounds crazy, but sometimes when that's the ego, right? If you if someone knows their person is spiritual and knows how to read energy, and like maybe you read tarot. Sometimes the other person can, that person can think that because they're experiencing karma in their life, which is a natural thing that everybody experiences, we all have karmic debt, that you're like putting a spell on them or something, which you're not. I mean, maybe you are, but I don't, I wouldn't recommend that. I wouldn't recommend playing around with that because karma, if you do it to someone else, karma, you know? Um, anyway. They think that maybe you put a curse on them. It's interesting. Perspective. Gaining new perspective. We'll get one more. We'll get one more. Abandoned! Yes, they feel abandoned. And don't... It's, it's common for you to feel bad that they feel that way, but it's also you can't force someone else to heal or wake up or... All you can do is take accountability for yourself and your own actions and look at yourself and reflect on yourself. You can't force anybody else to walk the line. That's interesting. Now I'm hearing Walk the Line by Johnny Cash. That's really interesting. But for you, I'd walk the line. But for you, I'd heal. But for you, I would walk that line of shadow work. I would put my heart first. I would be honest. Anyway, 
All right, so let's get one more deck. We'll get moon cards, maybe? Moon cards? Moon cards? Actually, I cleaned up my setup. I changed my setup on this table, so now I can do face readings over here, and I have, like, decks everywhere. I love it. If you want to see, all of my decks are laid out like this in these nice dollar store holders, <laughs> which are very pretty. <laughs> They're bamboo. <laughs> Or imitation bamboo, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, I wanted to get these ones to see how they're feeling. <laughs> Let's look. All right, how is your person feeling through this blockage slash separation? It's interesting, we have freedom in reverse and that's like unwanted freedom. You know, that's, I'm almost seeing like freedom, freedom in reverse makes me think of 10 of wands, feeling like very weighed down, very burdened. Um, perhaps, you know, they didn't want commitment and now they're realizing, oh, that freedom doesn't feel so good. Failure in the upright. Interesting. They don't like the freedom. They feel like a failure here. Freedom in reverse to its blue and blue is associated with the throat chakra and I've been clearing my throat this entire reading. Indecision. Loneliness. Oh my. Let's get one more. Envy. I'm telling you, they could think that you've put a spell on them. Um, or they could think, you know, maybe other people are around you. They could be envious of your growth. They could be envious of your independence. They could be envious of someone else in your energy. This is very interesting. Envy, loneliness, failure, and freedom in reverse. And growth and judgment. Growth and judgment, so important. Wow. I'm a little shocked by these cards. There's some... I just can't believe those are the cards that came out for you. I mean, I can. What are you? A card just fell on the floor. A surprise card. Nope. That was just your person reminding me that they feel envious of you. <laughs> Interesting. So what I wanted to do, actually, was I wanted to get these ones for you, which are kind of messages Ugh, from them. Sorry, I'm pulling my chair. <laughs> I am so not graceful. <laughs> sorry. I am so sorry for the pain I have caused you. I am sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. I wanted to be there to comfort you, but I was afraid of letting you down. And we have expectations. Can I be enough for you? That emperor energy, that little baby mini emperor energy. You know in Mario Kart, like Mario and baby Mario? <laughs> baby emperor. <laughs> baby emperor. <laughs> baby Ouija, <laughs> you know? <laughs> baby Ouija. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm seeing. Baby emperor. <laughs> Unspoken. There's so much yet to be spoken. There's so much I want to say to you, but I find it difficult to put my feelings into words. King of Cups. Just know that you are very important to me. The depth of my love for you is beyond words. There's so much unspoken between us, which I, which will soon be revealed to you. Interesting. I think these were a Chinese deck that were um, translated into English. So it's interesting because some of the words I have to change, of course. Let's see. Um, did I shuffle it already? I'm going to shuffle it. Seven of Cups is showing up, so I'm thinking about you. Did I make the right decision? Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Energy, need you. <gasps> Before I was so rudely cut off. <gasps> Empress energy. I need you. Needing their Empress, needing their Queen of Pentacles. That's what we saw right away. You were so nurturing, magnetic, passionate. 
the queen in my life or per king, don't, gender doesn't matter. Your light shines bright and guides me through my darkness. You feel like home to me. I just heard Home to Me by Chantal Kreviacic. Kreviacic? However you say it. I always feel very happy and comfortable in your presence. Thank you for my love, for always sending me healing energy. I need you and your energy even more now. <sighs> All right, let's see how your person feels. That was your person sign. Forgive. I hope you will forgive me for all the things I have done, all the pain which I caused you. Believe me, my love, it was not my intention. I know I have hurt you pretty badly with my words and actions, but I am truly sorry, my love. What is happening with these cards? They're acting crazy. Settle down. <laughs> Forgive. Feeling left out in the cold. Mine. Oh my gosh, you guys. That came up in a reading the other day. This person could say to you, like, you're mine, like when you were together, or they could call you my love. Anyway, I was listening to a song this morning, and it said, you're mine. And I thought of that reading. I wish I could remember what song it was. I'm sure I can figure it out. Regret. Deep in regret. Oh my gosh, is that not the same image? Is that not the same image? <laughs> Where are those cards? I have to see. We were on the top, right? Yeah, we were. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. That is so crazy. Look! Sign. That's a sign. I've never had that happen before. That was amazing. <laughs> That's a cool synchronicity. Anyway, they're in despair is what I'm seeing and I messed up my hair <laughs> and I'm rhyming and I just don't care <laughs> let's see how your person is feeling passion you excite me you excite me on every level spiritually emotionally sexually um, the heat is rising between us this is the intensity of my desire for you I want you I want you by bind <laughs> That's body and mind, um, in one word, bind. <laughs> maybe there's like, maybe there's like, I hate, I don't hate to say this, but maybe you guys like to bind. <laughs> anyway, I'm just, I have to say what I hear. Um, we will be, mind, body, and soul. It will, we will be one. It will be unlike anything we have ever experienced before. I have so much passion for you. You are such a passionate and magnetic person. I feel drawn to you. Empress energy. This person could like your bum bum. <laughs> insecure. I told you your person was feeling insecure. I told you. Insecure. You treat me better than I have ever been tr than I have ever treated you. And I know that you give me everything. I really do want it, but I am struggling with my fears. I feel like I am not good enough for you. It's my own insecurity holding me back. I have to say, you guys have had a lot of images of someone looking very lonely, in despair, crying, worried, like the Nine of Swords right away with like at the beginning of the reading in the tarot. Again, you have all this imagery of like loneliness and despair. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see. Let's just get one moon card. Or two or three or four or five. <laughs> we'll see what wants to come out. Advice for you about this connection. Emotions are running high. Yes, you've got them in their emotions. That's the point. There's I'm hearing let go by Fru Fru. I don't know why. Let go, jump in, there's beauty in the breakdown. For you, I'd walk the line. Embrace, embrace effortless was stuck to the bottom of that from a different deck. 33. A new romantic cycle begins. So this could be someone new for you, but it could be just... 
the beginning of a new cycle after the healing that takes place here. We also have, what do you need to release? That's what you're doing right now. I really do feel like that's what you're doing right now. You're trying to release things you don't have control over like this connection. Uh, maybe there are, you know, if you do have them blocked and you have a lot of anger towards them, there could be something emotionally that you need to look at and release, um, which is normal. One more. The answers you need are coming. Communication. You'll see this all happened for a reason. So my loves, I'm going to end it here. I love you. I'll be back later today with, um, I was seeing if that was relevant to you, but it's not. <laughs> Sometimes the drop downs are, I don't have a lot of drop downs because I don't know how to <laughs> technology works. So I have YouTube drop downs for the one I watch on. So the readers I follow. So that was like an all signs reading. And then I have my affirmations, um, and that's it. So sometimes my best friend creeps. Sometimes my best friend ends up in that. But anyway, that's completely pointless information. There you go. A minute of your life you'll never get back. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I hope this helped. I love doing it this way. So if, if you ever have a question, just throw it in the comment section. I might see it. So yeah, I love you, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.